Well, the 81st Golden Globes are underway and we've seen plenty of celebs rock the red carpet, to say the least. Australia's own Elizabeth Debicki has won the award for female actor in a supporting role on television for her role on The Crown. Joining me now is news.com.au reporter Andrew Bucklow. Andrew, tell us, how's the glitz and the glam on the red carpet? I'm obsessed. Everyone has really turned out this year. Margot Robbie, arguably the best. Uh, she just rocking it in a pink dress, looked absolutely stunning. And this is so exciting to have all the stars on the red carpet because we weren't sure if these Golden Globes were going to go ahead. You might remember that Hollywood was brought to a standstill last year with the actors' strike and the writers' strike. The Emmys were postponed. They were meant to be in September. They've been now moved to later this month. So thankfully those strikes came to an end and the Golden Globes are underway. They've been on air for about 90 minutes now and it's a good show, let me tell you. Well, what's the standout so far? Uh, fill us in. We know that Elizabeth Debicki has won an award. Um, her reaction was priceless for those who haven't seen it. She was so shocked. Um, tell us, what are the standout moments so far? Well, Elizabeth, as you mentioned, she won for playing uh, Princess Diana in The Crown, an amazing performance. She was actually nominated against Meryl Streep, so amazing for an Aussie to beat Meryl Streep. Uh, one of the standout moments from the ceremony so far is the fact that there's a host called Joe Coy. Now, not really a household name here in Australia. He's an American comedian. He's had a few Netflix specials. He only received the hosting gig 10 days ago and I'll be honest, it kind of showed. Uh, his opening monologue kind of tanked, to be honest, fell flat in the room, hasn't got a very good reception on social media either with people calling it an absolute train wreck. Uh, but there have been some very exciting winners so far. Uh, you mentioned Elizabeth Debicki. Ricky Gervais actually won for Best Stand-Up Performance. Matthew McFadden has won for his role as Tom in Succession. If anyone out there hasn't seen Succession yet, Get yourself a binge membership and watch it. One of the best shows I've seen in the last <laughs> decade. Robert Downey Jr. has won for his role in Oppenheimer as well. And The Bear, we're just seeing there Jeremy Allen White on screen. He won for his role as Kami. Uh, plenty of big awards to come. Uh, this year, it's all about two films in particular, Barbie and Oppenheimer. You might remember, remember that they were released on the same day last year. They absolutely dominated the box office. Barbie uh, pulled in more than $2 billion worldwide. It's currently the 14th highest grossing film of all time, expected to dominate as well as Oppenheimer. Oh, as you mentioned, it's been such a big year for the box office there with those two major films. But you also mentioned before, it has been a bit of a tumultuous year in the industry with the writers' strike as well. But for the Globes more specifically, we know that they faced criticisms about a lack of diversity and ethical concerns too. Have the Globes listened to those concerns this year? Yeah, absolutely. So if people aren't aware of the drama, uh, there was allegations of corruption with the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, who used to run that ceremony. As a result, a lot of actors started boycotting the Globe. Some even handed back trophies that they'd won in the past. So what happened was the F Hollywood Foreign Press Association was then disbanded. A new group is now running the Golden Globes and voting is a new group of journalists, 300 entertainment journalists from around the world, a very diverse group. So the Globes have responded to all that drama and I think they'll be looking to uh, just put all of that stuff behind them and have a good ceremony this year. We're all so good. Turning a new page. Now, we do have to wrap things up, but just I have to talk about Margot Robbie. We know that she'll most likely win an award yeah. for Barbie, right? I'd say you can put your house on it, OK? Now, that's going to be really awkward um, <laughs> if she doesn't win. But, yeah, she uh, she has absolutely killed it this year. Barbie was an absolute smash hit. Not only did she star in it, but she was also producing that film. So she would have made quite a few pretty pennies as well. But, uh, yeah, great to see her hopefully being recognised later on in the ceremony. Andrew, thank you for the lowdown there. Such a good day. Uh, and, of course, we'll have more coverage on the Golden Globes this afternoon on Sky News or you can follow along at news.com.au. Andrew, thank you.